All right, welcome back to Newsline. If you've just joined us, you're right on time. I was just going through the scripts to make sure that everything is all right. And it's always good to start on a positive note. So we'll begin with love. February, maybe the shortest month of the year, but it is also known as the month of love. But this year, it also has another concept of love, the Ash Wednesday also in February. So bringing the two, you know, uh, concepts of love together. So how did the lovebirds fly? Let's find out from our correspondent. Valentine's Day means different things to different people. While some say it's about celebrating their romantic partners, others say it's about showing love to all regardless of who they are, like the agape love. Then, there are those who do not believe in the concept at all. I do celebrate Valentine's Day, like with my loved ones, my family, my friends, in the office, I'm friends around where I stay too as well. I celebrate with them. I celebrate every day. It's not necessarily on February 14th. I don't celebrate because I don't, I don't have time for that for, for now. For me, well, it doesn't work. It. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day yes, because there's no reason. Valentine's Day celebration has been in existence for decades, first in honor of the Christian martyr named St. Valentine. Later, as time went on, it metamorphosed and soon became a celebration of romance, passion and love with even a color code. It's love. Someone died because of love and that, at that point it's being recognized that this is the purpose of it. He died because of love. And what kind of love did he die for? People didn't see it. Showing love should be continuous thing. It should be should not have a specific day for it. As this year's Valentine's Day clashed with Ash Wednesday, a Christian solemn event, some individuals decided to focus on holy love to one another. For others, however, the thought of Valentine's Day without romantic affection was a no-no. Meanwhile, some simply commemorated both. In the spelling of Valentine, at the middle is Lent, so. Today is just like God trying to tell us that love and <laughs> everything is what every day is love. So I'm celebrating Valentine, yes. Well, I'm focusing on the vow presently now. In whatever way it is celebrated, Valentine's Day celebration can never be the same for every generation. Generation X, Generation Millennial, and Generation Z certainly flow on different levels. Loving day is very important. It doesn't disturb the Valentine, person most happy. That's one thing on me. So me too, I want to go. I'm just coming from work. So I want to dress up to go and enjoy myself for Valentine. In this season of love, whether it is towards a romantic partner, family, an acquaintance, or a stranger, it is important to remember that every day is an opportunity to show love. <laughs> I hear my colleagues say, no, because we get money, they love. But that's the common mentality. But the truth is that we are all enjoined to love one another. And there is no date or month or timeline ascribed to it. I want to take you to a kingdom in Kebis. Newsline.